<sighs> munch, Are you munch, hungry? munch. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I got some, some box office for you to munch on. You ruined my joke. <laughs> Action! <laughs> you know in, in Bolt where he goes, are you hungry? <gasps> Starving. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. Holy fuck. Guys, two movies come out this weekend that... Um, you got two movies come out that we don't give a fuck about. <laughs> Honestly. Um, none two. Which is in the Conjuring, Conjuring universe, Cinematic Universe. Which for you guys are lucky because now that means we have to go make sure we've seen the entire universe. You gotta do Conjuring rankings. Then we'll give you your rankings. But then we're gonna start tucking rankings in some reviews. The most recent Conjuring movie, The Devil Made Me Do It, which is, I think, the third Conjuring movie, is the best Conjuring okay. movie. Yeah. One and two are pretty dis- similar. In- Insidious made me wanna poke uh, my Conjuring eyes out. Conjuring also like has a horror Patrick movie. Wilson and Vera Farmiga or whatever the fuck her name is, um, who's also the other chick. Who's all right? Are we sure they're not in the same universe? We're pretty sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Patrick Wilson um, uh, in Aquaman universe, Conjuring universe, and uh, <laughs> Insidious universe. They need to do like a drive-by. Conveniently all the same characters. <laughs> they, he basically plays the same. I want to see yeah. him drive by his Insidious version like in a truck <laughs> while he's in his car and they just kind of yeah. look at each other. Yeah. It's like the, they do Gemini Man, but it's just Patrick Wilson, and it's his character from Conjuring. They have to team up to defeat multiple demons. Yeah, the Red Men. The Red Men and the Doll. The Red Men. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's running with the doll next to him, Annabelle, and the and, nuns and none. flying <laughs> over him. It's the, it'd be a, it's a Civil War airport fight. <laughs> Kind of how I was and it's, and it's, it. and it's all the like bad guys in 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 Patrick Wilson movies, and on the other side is just Patrick Wilson. It's like five Patrick Wilsons. <laughs> Maybe Rose Byrne. Maybe, yeah. It's three Patrick Wilsons, and then Rose Byrne and Vera Farmiga. <laughs> <laughs> guys, uh, okay. So uh, enough for the jokes. So Let's over get into over the hard, under hard hitting numbers. <laughs> I'm trying to realize that I guess what the, you come here for. The Conjuring franchise is huge. Yeah, people love the Conjuring franchise. That's almost as big as like um, the Paranormal Activities or oh, the, the Exorcist movies, um, which we're getting another one of those, unfortunately. Yay. I never uh, knew none was in the Conjuring universe. I never saw the first one. Okay. I thought I, I didn't did either. my I homework. I saw a trailer, but I'm like three Conjuring movies, two Annabelles. I'm like I've seen all of them. You know? Wrong. No, <laughs> you haven't seen me, super bad. <laughs> so none, uh, none is uh, over under is 35 million. Yep. Some people say it could go as high as as fifth as 40. Opening and, uh, weekend. Wow. 35. Okay. So I'm okay. gonna. I guess I'll go over because apparently there's a lot of hype here, and Insidious just went bonkers, even though that was okay. terrible. And we've had other horror movies this year. This is the first one because we're officially in what people call spooky season. Spooky season. The unofficial Ooh. first day of fall, even though the first spooky. day of fall isn't for uh, another month, <laughs> pretty much. So September is apparently the first day of Halloween. So um, horror movies coming out now I guess are a totally different uh, animal. I'll than give it credit. The trailer the looks, horror movies. looks good. I caught pretty it in creepy. IMAX looks and they creepy. throw a jump scare in the end. Yeah, and it said pissed it actually, me off. You know, I was not you. expecting. Yeah. I walked in right in the middle of the trailer, sat down, and they did the, yeah. I guess I'll say just over. Just then, over? Because I don't think it'll break 40, but I think 35 is pretty generous for a horror okay. movie, you know? I yeah. want to go over. Especially because uh, nothing's fucking out right now, you know? Uh, going up against my big fat Greek winning. Which movie. brings us to the next one. Right. Well, there's about o- everything else is. For, uh, oh, I went over. For, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay, 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 okay. 10 is the Hollywood projections for uh, my big for fat three. Greek wedding. The, three. First one, the first one opened low and had legs like historic legs. Oh, no, like it's a cult classic. Titanic legs. Yeah, it's a classic now. The yeah. second one did well considering its budget, but nowhere near the first one. It's an um, unnecessary sequel, I think, is all that suffers from. But yeah, sure so is fine. this. But it's like you yeah. get a, uh, everybody li- likes each other in the movie. Everybody likes the cast that watches it. They get ten, yeah. twenty million dollars. They know it's going to make fifty to a hundred minimum. They're going like to make those, money. Like those, like the book clubs, yeah, book club twos, make or it cheap. eighty for Brady or whatever. Yeah, let's get the cast back together. If you make and it cheap, do whatever. Nostalgia's hot still right now. It's been hot for ten years. Keep sure. the nostalgia thing a burning. Nostalgia's always hot. Yeah, I'm going to go over on ten. Wow. I will say on par. For okay, 10. you think ten? I'm I gonna think go 10 over. Is spot on for this movie. I, yep. don't, I don't think people realize. I know the second one wasn't as big, but you had even more years for the first one to get even bigger, and then the yeah. second one to get to get loved and all of that. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, go it's not. It doesn't scream franchise, though. You know, no, you're when that right. First one weird. came out. They didn't. They weren't like, okay, we got these plans for these other two no, movies. Right. Okay, <laughs> guys, fucking. The MGF, CW, CU, GW. <laughs> I don't know. I don't uh, know what the fuck that, <laughs> that will be challenging Equalizer 3 for second place, which that's projected roughly to do around wow. 16, 17 million. In Fight of the weekend. fucking century. Equalizer 3 versus My Big Fat Greek Wedding 3. 
Wow. Who will win? <laughs> so right around a 55% drop for that. We'll get it into the high set, high 60s. That movie will break 100. So That's Equalizer, right. will, it'll do well. It'll the budget wasn't a lot. Break even. 70 million. Yeah. Nah, that'll be all so, right. Yeah. Nice. So we'll have right. reviews for The Nun. Yeah. Uh, two, and we'll have a little mini re- rankings of uh, the rest of the Conjuring universe Conjuring. this weekend. And we'll also have my Big Fat Greek Wedding review for the other two movies. and My Big that. Fat Greek Red Wedding. And we do a Game of Thrones mashup. Nice. Of <laughs> That's now I'm interested in the movie. You're like, I hope it's that. Hold on. <laughs> Can it just be that? Can Rob Stark be there? And 